In today's video, we're going to focus on the importance of website security. We're going to look at two of the more common threats, DDoS and malware. So DDoS stands for Distributed Denial of Service Attack. I'll show you the details of these a little bit later. And some of the effects of malware. Malware can be quite catastrophic, particularly for e-commerce and small agencies and other small businesses. The effect it can have on your business is very alarming. I'll talk about that later. And then we'll go on to best practice mitigation. I want to keep the mitigation strategies user-friendly and simple in terms of um, being able to apply this as a business owner or a basic website user. So we'll go through this step by step. So let's start with DDoS. This is where an attacker controls a network of infected devices. These can be laptops, phones, any internet connected device that is infected can be controlled by the attacker and used. And this attack can be distributed across the network against a target. So this could be your website server here. It overwhelms your server with malicious traffic. The server crashes or goes down temporarily and you can no longer serve your viewers. In terms of mitigating these kinds of attacks, usually you'll just use a web application firewall. Uh, Cloudflare is a really common way of mitigating these attacks. These are servers that sit between the public and your actual web server. So the attacks have to go through a um, web application firewall before they reach you. And this effectively mitigates it in many cases. Usually the consequence of a DDoS attack is just downtime. So it is a little bit less risky than malware. Let's talk about malware. So malware is where the attacker manages to get control of the server directly. Usually this is through a backdoor, um, an outdated plugin on WordPress, for example, or maybe just insecure use of the admin rights. Maybe you've used a weak password or you've shared your password with other people and an attacker has been allowed access to the server. Now the server is controlled by the bad actor and they are using it to serve malicious data to your viewers. In this case, the attacker can also steal sensitive data from the server, particularly data about the customers and your own uh, web server itself. And oftentimes, because this is due to a server vulnerability itself, the web application firewall isn't able to mitigate this in many cases. So this, the attacker can gain direct access to the server. So some of the main causes of malware infection, we've got vulnerable or outdated plugins. So server vulnerabilities, particularly WordPress plugins, uh, often you've got many plugins installed. Some of them might only be maintained by volunteers or part-time workers, and these can be vulnerable to cyber attack through malware. Um, often there's phishing that can be done through links, through email, through social media. Even telephone scammers can gain access to your credentials, and that can lead to a malware attack. And then finally, human error, people with weak passwords, people who share passwords with each other, um, just bad admin practices can lead to a malware infection. And a malware infection can lead to some pretty nasty consequences, leaking the customer data, exposing them to scams, exposing yourself to scams, reputational damage. If your site is hacked, it can cause irreparable damage to the brand reputation. People will no longer trust it. You can lose long-term customers through a malware infection. Um, Google SEO damage, uh, Google can flag the site as malicious, even though um, it was just infected with malware. You had um, no malicious intent, but the consequence is Google is going to penalize your website. That can be very hard to recover from. And obviously there's data loss and revenue loss while you've got downtime, um, depending on your backups, these can be pretty hard to recover from often as well. So unless you're a cybersecurity expert, probably the most effective way of getting peace of mind when it comes to website security is by using a good quality managed web host. For this example, I'll be using Cloudways to demonstrate all the security features you'll need to achieve best practice for your website. Now, the good thing about Cloudways is a lot of these features you can get pre-configured and set up ready to go. You don't need any particular technical knowledge. They also have lots of great performance benefits as well included in their managed hosting. And this means you can focus on scaling your business rather than focusing on technical details. It also means you don't need to go after third-party security plugins and third-party performance plugins. These are able to be implemented on Cloudways end. And the nice thing about Cloudways is they actually implemented a new malware protection feature that I'm going to show you later in the video as well. So if you head to the link in the description, you can actually get a three-day free trial through Cloudways. It's just a case of filling out the form. And when you go to the got a promo code section here, make sure you use Ideaspot there. That'll give you some extra discount if you decide to continue after your free trial expires. And once you've finished the signup process, we are logged into our dashboard here and we are going to add a server. 
And for this demonstration, we're going to use WordPress here. I'm just gonna name this one security demo here. And for our server, we can choose DigitalOcean, Vulture, Linode, Amazon, or Google. I prefer Vulture myself personally. These uh, CPUs are the highest frequency, Vulture high frequency here, and usually two gigabytes is enough for most projects. From what I've seen, the Vulture high frequency is one of the cheaper ones here. Uh, only DigitalOcean is a little cheaper, but Vulture, the benchmarks do seem to be uh, significantly better with Vulture high frequency. Vulture also gives you the ability to select from 28 different data center locations. So uh, in most cases for an English audience, the East Coast of the United States is good. So New York, um, I'm gonna go with for my example here. And that's basically all we need here. We can go ahead and launch. So after launching, it will usually take a few minutes for the server to provision. So I'll come back after this is ready. While that server's spinning up, let's talk about the standard features that come with all of Cloudway's managed plans here. So we get a dedicated server level firewall included that shields your server from malicious traffic and unauthorized login attempts. And fail to ban gives you automated protection from unauthorized access. So that monitors login attempts and automatically blocks suspicious activity. And you've got regular security patches and updates. That's a really important part of having a server, making sure it's patched and updated all the time. So that is all handled by Cloudways. You also get bot protection from malcare that's included, uh, blocks bot traffic from accessing your WordPress websites. And you've got your vulnerability scanner. So patch stack, that's the best in class for vulnerability scanning. It will notify you if you have any vulnerabilities. That's a really important aspect of preventing malware infecting your site. You've also got free one-click SSL for all your websites. So these are included in all your plans. And now that our server is ready, let's go ahead and check it out. We can actually see some of the security features that are included here as well. So you can add additional security to your SSH and SFTP access as well as your MySQL access as well. You can just do that by whitelist and block all IP addresses except for those on the whitelist. So you can do that for SSH and SFTP and MySQL as well here. And so if you want extra security, you can make sure only specific IP addresses can access these services. The other thing worth mentioning in your account settings, you can add extra security in terms of two-factor authentication to make it even more secure in terms of accessing the Cloudways account itself. And if we head back to our dashboard, we can look at the application here. In this case, we've got WordPress. There's a lot of security features here that are automatically deployed in application level as well. We've got our SSL certificates that we can add to any website for free. We've got our bot protection, which is turned on by default. We've got our vulnerability scanner that makes sure that all your uh, WordPress core the themes and plugins are all secure. That regularly scans your site for vulnerabilities. And there's also a add-on called safe updates. Because WordPress themes and plugins have regular updates, this is a way of ensuring the updates are validated before they're deployed so you don't actually accidentally break the website when you run an update on the themes or plugins. So this is a nice feature. Um, the other way to manage this is just through backups. If you run into an update that breaks anything, you can just restore a backup. Let's talk about that now. So you can take backups at a application level like we can here or on the actual server there are backups as well where you back up the entire server and you can set the frequency and the retention policies here as well. So very comprehensive backups automatically included with your plans. They also make it fairly straightforward to achieve GDPR compliance. For those of you interested in that, uh, you can implement the required levels of encryption and privacy policy implementation. They've got a guide in their blog at Cloudways as well. Another important security feature that Cloudways has is its Teams feature. This is not common on a lot of web hosts. So this lets you add individual members to your team and give people role-based access control. And this allows you to manage user permissions for people who are using applications on your Cloudways account. So this is much different from a lot of web hosts where you, there is just an admin account and that's all there is. So this is much more secure in terms of having secure authentication practices. So you can set up individual team members and allow them access to the exact uh, features and servers that they need to fulfill their role. And finally, you've got server monitoring that's turned on by default. You've got analytics for all your typical requirements here. You've also got access to the error logs and access logs, which are great for diagnosing any issues as they occur. So now that I've covered most of the included features in terms of security on Cloudways, I want to focus today on the hot topic of malware protection. So Cloudways have added this new malware protection feature that I want to focus on today. 
I think this one's really important because these days malware attacks are focusing more on small and medium-sized businesses. Larger businesses have the budget to have a full-time cybersecurity staff in their company, but small and medium businesses make much softer targets and much more profitable use of time for attackers to focus on these type of businesses. So um, in the case of Cloudways, they have begun offering a malware protection product at a fraction of the cost of equivalent other services. So normally what you'd need for equivalent protection is something like security or WordFence on their premium plans. Uh, Cloudways is doing this for starting at $4 per month if you're using uh, between one to five uh, installs of it. And at scales, it becomes cheaper. If you want more installs, it becomes much more cheaper per application. Now, this is much cheaper than something like security or WordFence. And it's also much more comprehensive than what some other similar managed WordPress hosts offer as well. So I'll talk about both of these things later. And the other thing worth noting is that besides WordPress, if you're using something more custom like Magneto or Laravel or custom PHP, then this actually requires some much more deep understanding of uh, server security. And that can be extremely expensive. So it's having something like this available on a managed server. I think this is a great add-on. Well, let's go ahead and enable this one on our site. So as soon as you enable it, it will do a quick scan and it says here your application is well protected from malware attacks. And it's worth noting that this malware protection isn't just for WordPress. This is a comprehensive scanner that is compatible with all of the PHP based content management systems available on Cloudways. So we'll have a more detailed look at how this works. If we scroll down, we can see we can do a on-demand scan at any point here that has initiated and as it's successful, we can see in the scan history, any scans that we've done in the past, this is the one that we have running at the moment. As it finishes, we get the green success message here. So those are all the scans we've done so far. But besides having a scan history, we have proactive defense. And this is the really valuable feature of Cloudways malware protection here. So this features runtime application self-protection. This is called RASP in the industry. And this, every time there's an input into the data, it checks for malware on the fly. So it will be able to catch malware before it actually infects the server. This is a huge feature that you want, especially if you're running e-commerce or any agency-based online business where um, protecting your site against malware is a priority. So overall, this is going to help against phishing protection. It's going to give you system protection, file and database protection. And this is really important, especially for WordPress and Joomla, where database protection is a really important part of your security. And this automatically cleans up malware as well. I know a lot of uh, free or trial-based security plugins where they're happy to, to detect malware, but they won't clean it up unless you pay the fee. And this has all your costs included in the package. And as we saw, the, the package is actually very cost-effective. If we look at the main competitors like Security, even the basic platform, that's $200 a year. Similar with WordFence, I think that is, yes, $119 per year, even for the basic package. So um, Cloudways package here, uh, very easy to implement because it's built into your hosting and extremely cost effective as well. It's also worth comparing Cloudways package in terms of its security features to its other main competitors in this area. So we've got Cloudways, we've got WP Engine, Kinster, and RocketNet. All of these have your key features, your multiple level uh, web application firewall, DDoS protection, and bot protection. But having a content management system specific web application firewall, that's something that's unique to just Cloudways and RocketNet. So this is a web application firewall that is going to detect issues specific to WordPress, for example, if that's your content management system of choice. The other important feature is domain reputation. So this is powered by Immunify 360, which monitors your domains on a range of blacklists. If you appear on any of the monitored lists, it'll notify you. It helps you manage the reputation of your domain, which is really important in terms of having a trustworthy site. This is something that only Cloudways and RocketNet have at the moment. You've also got PAM, which is another form of brute force attack prevention unique to Cloudways and RocketNet. And finally, personally, I think this is the most important feature, having the runtime application self-protection, having your application be able to protect itself in real time against attacks from malware. This one is a real killer. And again, just available on Cloudways and RocketNet. One other thing that I noted here, 
having plugin based, none of these are plugin based. So this is a really important concept to understand. I think a lot of people add a security plugin to their WordPress install, thinking that's going to give them an increased level of security. A lot of times, particularly with malware, because the malware is attacking the same layer that your plugin is installed. Often the actual malware can disable or circumvent your plugin. So having a plugin based security malware protection isn't always the best way. It's good to know that none of these providers use a plugin based uh, malware security system. So that's really important to be aware of. It's not to say that having a WordPress security plugin is a bad idea. It definitely can add some improved protection to WordPress, but just don't actually rely on it, particularly for malware detection and malware removal. I think having that based on the server side, like we get here with Cloudways or any of the others here, is a much better option than trying to install a malware uh, security plugin on the actual WordPress install itself. And so finally, if you were to compare most of Cloudways' plans to the equivalent RocketNet plans, Cloudways typically will come out a bit more cost effective, even if you include the $4 per app for malware protection. If you want to add that on, it still is very cost effective and the feature set is very good compared to its competitors in this field. And then obviously, if you were self-hosting, like we talked about earlier, um, in comparison, if you had to add security or WordFence premium, the minimum cost there uh, still a lot more than having managed hosting with Cloudways and adding that malware protection add-on. So um, very cost-effective from Cloudways. So overall for our conclusions, I think we can see that having a managed web hosting solution is for most users, it's the most effective, most simple way of getting access to industry standard best quality protection, particularly with malware. I think with malware, Cloudways gave us a very cost-effective solution in terms of having a malware scanning and not just malware scanning, you're getting that runtime application self-protection where you've got proactive protection where as soon as malware appears, it gets detective, detected and cleaned by uh, the real-time application self-protection system. So really quite appreciate that feature. I think a lot of people will run an occasional scan just to make sure that their site is clean, but this is much more proactive, really worth that um, few extra dollars in terms of adding that onto your site for getting uh, peace of mind for malware protection. So really enjoyed that feature. Um, I think uh, I would definitely recommend testing out Cloudways. If you haven't already, they still do a free trial. You can check that link in the description. And if you decide to go ahead, um, I've got that coupon code IDEASPOT. Recommend using that one because you'll get a discount to your plan if you decide to go ahead past that trial period. But let me know if you've got any questions in the comments. Happy to answer you, but let me know what you think as well. Uh, always happy to answer any questions. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.